everyone welcome back for a, another video and in this video I will be sharing uh, what I've been using the last oh month or so uh, and what I've been enjoying and what I'm going to be continuing using uh, hopefully throughout the summer and through the remainder of the year so the first thing you'll see that I have here are my Penelope pouch. This is the uh, Atelier's Penelope in the mustard color. I've now had this for oh, three or four years now. I've had it probably since at least 2018, uh, maybe 2017. I got it through Baumkuchen and um, it has uh, a pouch here where you can fit a standard size traveler's notebook. It has a zipper pouch here where you can put like a pens, pencils, and ephemera. And then it also has a zipper in the back. And in the back I keep extra masks. <laughs> Just because it's thin, so in case I'm out and about and I, I need a mask, I know I have a fresh one in there. So those usually get replaced <laughs> every so often. So let's look in the little zipper pouch first, because I do have a few things <laughs> in here. And actually, you'll see it's mainly washi tape. I have, um, oh, I've got um, uh, my business card for planning with John. I've got a journaling card from uh, Coco Daisy. Oop, another business card. <laughs> and then I have a bunch of washi tape. Um, these long, skinny ones were sent to me in some happy mail from Tokopetsu Mamori on Twitch and every other place, otherwise known as Judy. She has a shop and she sells washi tape and all of that good stuff. And so these are some that I've been using in my planners and some of them to create borders on some watercolor projects I've been working on. Um, this is a... Um, that's Maru washi tape that someone sent me, and I've got a little bit of it so I can keep it with me. So this right here is some Coco Daisy washi tape that came from this afternoon tea uh, selection that was maybe from April, maybe May. I can't remember which month, but I have that in there. This is some Mindy Lacefield washi tape with strawberry shortcake, her little characters, and some Disney Alice in Wonderland stuff. This is a mixture of Job's washi tape, his craft, his blue, his green, and then some MT washi. And this was a selection that I got from Amazon that had eight thinner washies and two larger washies and it took up so much space I just put it all on three cards and then just a couple of other little cards for journaling Traveler's Factory and another Coco Daisy um, I know someone will ask um, what these cards are that I have my washi samples on uh, they are printable ID cards you can get them on Amazon uh, you can get them in a pack of like 25 for like seven dollars or you can get a pack of 250 for like nine dollars so I got a pack of 250 because I, I figured if I was <laughs> you know I've, I've used up quite a bit right now and I've given them away to friends so I thought it just made more sense to buy the 250 for just a couple of more dollars but that was when COVID started so who knows the price could have gone up but I have so many of them that I'm not going to go out for a long time. <laughs> so that's what I keep in the zipper pouch portion of this. Then inside I have this beautiful uh, folio by Brie at Documented Journey. It's in two of her new corks. The this mustard color, which is called Goldenrod, and then this floral print, which is called 
I want to say Evening Blooms. And then I have, oh, it's upside down. <laughs> and then I have my Planning with John inserts. Here's my grid insert. Here is my monthly calendar for the year, um, which I've been using. Here we are in June. And then here is my weekly from May through August. And here we are this week. So that's what I have in here. And this has been my personal planner, or at least these three types of inserts. I've been using this monthly calendar since the beginning of the year. Tracking stuff and keeping track of dates and birthdays and stuff like that. Uh, so there's that. So that's my planner and I think they complement each other so well. The mustard and this goldenrod color. I think the company that manufactures the cork actually call it mustard yellow. So it's one of my seasonal favorite colors right now. So there's that. I've moved all of my pens and pencils and writing utensils into this little pouch. It is a bag by, here it is, Blue Q Bags. And it's made from 95% recycled material. So that's one thing that I, I really like about this. And um, you can see there's like little feet and there's a little gnome here and it says, you're kind of a legend. So that's Sasquatch and it has mushrooms and flowers and that's, you know, stuff that I tend to draw. So I thought it was perfect to use, but I've, I've pulled out a bunch of pens <laughs> and I've been using these in here. Um, and lots, lots of pens, lots of pens. I, I did have quite a bit in here for sure. And I'll, I'll see if I can zoom in for everything. So the first thing I have in here is a mild liner. This kind of green color. I've been using it for taking for writing, for highlighting, for notes in a book that I'm reading. This is a Zig Clean Color Dot Marker. I think it's almost ran out of ink, so I'm gonna switch to a new color when this runs out of my duplicates, my dupes that I have a video on. I've got a Midori MD, or a Midori Ruler. There you go. This oh, is a, you can see from the, the red up here, it is a Twisby fountain pen. It is the Twisby Go. And this is the only fountain pen out of all of the ones that I have that I've been using. I have more expensive ones, but this one holds quite a, mit, a bit of ink and it, it just writes so well. And if it breaks or something happens to it, I, I don't feel guilty because I know I can replace it really easily and it won't be expensive. Um, I have a Bolograph. It's a Swiss ballpoint pen in the color blue because sometimes when you're doing forms you need like a normal ballpoint pen, not a fancy gel pen. Um, this is a rosewood pen and it's just got um, uh, it is, a, I want to say like a Pilot G2 ink in there. So there's that. Uh, this is a Pure Malt from Uni, and it has a Pentel Energel in it. This is a Pentel Energel Klena with the brown ink, because I like brown ink. This is a Lamy pen, and I have a Pentel Energel brown ink in it. <laughs> so I've got three pens with the same brown ink in it. Um, it's because I like that ink and it just, you know, always helps to have it since I use it almost all the time. This is a uh, Zebra Sarasa 
in the um, heavier metal pens, and the color is gray-brown. So it, it looks like a pencil when you write with it, but it's pen. Then I have a Stadler Mars uh, Technico, and it's a really thick pencil. And then this is a Mars plastic eraser. This is a Pentel Graph Gear 1000 pencil. And here's the lead for it. I have a black eraser. This is a Kaweco Sport pencil with a similar type of lead that is in the Stadler pen. This is a Midori. Let's see if you can see that it says Midori brass pencil. And then I have a Kaweco ballpoint pen with I think a blue, blue refill in it. So that is what I have in my pen pouch. It's quite a bit. <laughs> and I need to thin it down because that's just a lot for a pen pouch. Now I do have a few things that I've been really enjoying this last few months. The first thing is this. It is another cork cover by Brie at Documented Journey. It is in the wheat with this totem pocket. And I have a watercolor insert. Probably shouldn't show this because this is stuff that I show on um, Patreon. And then I have this Midori uh, insert back here where I do a lot of journaling and that's from Brie and other stuff like that. So if you want to see more about this, uh, follow the link down below for my Patreon. So I've got that. This is a Zen Art Supplies uh, notebook. It's just a off-whitish uh, sketchbook and I've been using it for just lots of different types of sketching, swatching my markers, some paints, some pencils, some more alcohol markers. I've been doodling a little doggy, some all my mild liners, some artwork with my mild liners and pencils. Another one. These might become emotes for Twitch. We'll see. I've got to scan them into my tablet and have fun in the Ibis Paint Pro. The skin tones from Ohuhu. These are the dot dupes. The, they're called Free Color Spot. I have a video on that. I'll see if I can link that up here. I got a Daniel Smith Moon Glow. These are some sample tests that I did. Here's a painting that I tried in here to, before doing it on expensive paper. A little something that I did for my Patreons for Pride for June. That's Patreon video. This is a forthcoming Patreon video. This is um, going to be a lemon tree. <laughs> this is one of my palettes, which I'll show you that I created. And this is all of the information towards that. And then this week is, uh, I think they call it workshop week. And this was just some doodles from one of the classes I followed. So I've been carrying this around with me wherever I go, just to have a sketchbook. And 
it's you know it's it's just an on the go thing. You can see it's I'm not it's not going to be any finished item. It's just for fun for practice. So there's that. I have another one of those bags from Blue Cube Bags, and this one I thought was perfect because it says, "I like who I'm becoming," and it has doodles and art on it, kind of like what. I would do. And for the moment, I have that watercolor palette in here. So I'm thinking of using this to carry some art supplies when I'm on the go. Since we're, you know, more like normal, I guess. Um, and so this I made myself just with some mixed media watercolor paper. And I put some adhesive magnets on the back. So it'll stick to it. And these are my Rosa watercolors, the Rosa Gallery watercolors from the Ukraine, and my little um, Daniel Smith Moon Glow watercolor stick. And this is going to be my palette that I use for a while now. And these are all the colors that are in there, including the Daniel Smith. So I'm really loving that. Something that I started doing again this summer is the artist way. I'm in the, towards the end of the third week, beginning of the fourth week, and I just have this, um, I've been rereading it. I also been listening to it. And what I've been doing is I've been using a composition notebook for my morning pages. I took some preliminary notes and then I started it. Like I rewrote the contract and then these are my morning pages and I've been just stamping it at the day and then writing my three or so pages and all of the work from in here um yeah so i've been i want to finish this i've in previous years i've almost finished it but like i want to complete it to you know see it through just to kind of see just kind of see what i what i might i think of it and then the last thing that i've been using the last couple of months is these canson watercolor books. I had placed an order from Amazon for just one of these, and they're uh, 30 pages of their watercolor paper, the XL watercolor paper, and um, it's cold pressed, heavyweight paper. It's seven by 10, and it's 140 pound paper, and that was what I was looking for. I, I placed an order for one, but what they ended up sending me was one pack of six of these. So this is the first one that I've started using, and I've got five more after this. And we can do a little, um, a little uh, flip through. Uh, so here's one of my tone studies with this really pretty pink. I did one with purple. I did some trees, like my parents, from my parents' property. And this lovely, like, sagey olive green some florals lovely shades of brown <laughs> a little boat and a whale <laughs> just plain did some flowers which you'll see that i tested them out here before doing them in here Here's a fun little, uh, like you're at the bottom of the ocean looking up and you see there's lovely dolphins swimming around. This one I just finished today of filming this. Here's the little pre-sketch and here's what it ended up looking like. <laughs> this is yellow ochre. I got really really pretty shades of yellow ochre. It's all just one color, yellow ochre. 
And then I did some fishies, which actually, I was doing fishies in here for a Patreon video. I was playing with my Rosa watercolors. And so then I also decided to <laughs> do a whole page of them in here. I think that's the last thing I have in here. Yeah. And so I've been loving this, this watercolor paper and that watercolor notebook. So that's just a quick look at some of the favorite things that I've been using the last few months. And I thought I would share with you because there's planning supplies, there's art supplies, there's reading supplies, there's pens, there's lots of stuff that you can see what I've been spending my time with. I know I haven't been posting much, but um, it's because I've been experimenting and trying these things and um, look for some more things coming from me. Do you have any favorites? Are any of my favorites your favorites? Or what are your favorites? Let us know in the comments down below. I'd love to know what what you're planning in and, and if you've got any favorite supplies that you're using or do you like a Pentel Energel or, or do you like something else? What's your favorite so I can go out and give it a try? Okay, that's all I have for you and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.